to help provide solutions to the health problems of the people and communities of Western Mindanao. The school envisions to produce doctors with a heart that is culturally and socially sensitive. ADZU SOM is a pioneer in using problem-based learning or PBL and community-oriented medical education. Our PBL session starts when a facilitator gives us a case, then each student is given a chance to participate during the discussion. PBL is an approach that includes the presentation of an applied problem to a small group of students who engage in discussion over several sessions. The discussions of the problem are structured to enable the students to create conceptual models to explain the problem presented in the case. As we discover the limits of our knowledge, we identify learning issues. These are questions that we cannot answer from our fund of knowledge. Between meetings of the group, we study our learning issues and share new knowledge the next meeting. This is where self-directed learning or SDL and group study takes place. I've discovered that discipline and patience are needed in SDL and that sharing what you have learned helps better in retention. In Ateneo, we have a wide array of access to medical books in our own medical library. is a necessity in the course of the PBL. After doing SDLs and group studies, students present their learning issues to the whole group with the facilitator. PBL does not only practice critical thinking and synthesis, but also provides an avenue for students to practice their skills with their facilitator. The school has designed the curriculum in such a way that clinical learning is integrated into the problem-based approach. And as early as first year, we are exposed to patients in the hospital to correlate our learnings from the PBL sessions with an actual case. This is Bedside Rounds. It is learning medicine through actual patient interaction with physician guidance. The school highly promotes and facilitates this educational clinical experiences in an immersive learning environment in partnership with one of the teaching hospitals in the region. The hospital is the equivalent of a battlefield to us medical students. It is where we are being tested, not only as future doctors, but as a person. It is a true test of character. A test of patience when there is a never-ending influx of patients. A test of tolerance when you encounter people of different personalities. A test of endurance of how long we will have to hold on to pursue this path. There were a lot of learnings that transpired throughout our clinical experience. We learned a lot of necessary clinical skills. But most importantly, we developed that attitude we believe doctors should always uphold. And that is humility. At the end of the day, the school aims to create not only competent doctors who can practice medicine at a level of proficiency for standard quality care, but also doctors with compassion and appreciation of the kind of service that the Ateneo wants to inculcate in the students. That is service to God and country.
surveys to determine community health needs and present results through an intersectoral forum for community validation. With the help of the community, we are able to prioritize the health concerns and together develop and implement collaborative comprehensive health plans or CHPs to address the community health needs. There's a fog hanging over me Down again, waiting here in the pouring Four years ago, Ateneo de Zamboanga School of Medicine opened its doors to 46 aspiring students. We have been sent to transform communities into healthier versions of themselves and along the way have been transformed as well. As we discover the doctor we aim to be, slowly we understand that it is not our codes that define us, but our commitment to serve with humility and accountability. Ours is a story of transformation and perseverance. Many have walked this path before us, and we proudly continue to carry the legacy of excellence with heart. We are Instrument Today, Class of 2018.